Okay, let's get him into the cubicle. I'll pass the vent on and do blood. Will you put him on a monitor, please, Patrick? Okay. Sorry to call you, Claire, but Andrew's up to his neck in coronary care. It's all right, I'm used to it. FBC, UNE, calcium, LFTs, glucose and clotting. Patrick, can you see about a CT and uh, send that woman in, whoever she is? No problem. What's the history of the hemorrhage? Sudden collapse. No history of trauma. I'm Dr Maitland. Can you tell me what happened, please? Well, we were in bed. All of a sudden, he didn't feel well. Uh-huh. You were making love? And he complained of a headache, yeah? Yeah, and feeling sick. We can ask these questions later. I want to stay with him, please. What's his name? Craig. Craig, can you squeeze my hand? Pneumodopine? Good idea. I think Craig's had a brain hemorrhage. His condition is serious, so I'm gonna get him a brain scan straight away, okay? Oh, wait, the medical registrar's here. They want you to get the radiologist in from home. I'll read the scan myself. Thank you. Let's get him up to CT, Patrick. Um, I'll phone the neurosurgeons once I've seen the scan. You got anything else for me here, Raj? No. He's going to get better, isn't he? Jeff. We'll know more about your boyfriend's condition after the scan. He's my husband. Thanks, scan no contrast. Bring him through. There's nothing you can do for the time being. Let's put the kettle on, eh? One minute he's shagging, the next he's shagged. He won't live. Who does? Craig's going to the intensive treatment unit. We've got to take over his breathing for him, otherwise it will stop. Doctor, please tell me he's going to be all right. I can't tell you that. Um, can you hear me? Should I talk to him? Talk to your husband. I'm right here with you. Oh. You're off. Sorry. Charlotte's bound to be suspicious if I don't go home now. It's no problem. But, uh, half an hour wouldn't hurt. Mm. Mm. Let's get rid of this, shall we? You know, we always have sex, sex without, without ties. ties. <laughs> Shh. You know that Scissors is just in the next room. Exactly. Make him realise he's ancient history. Shut up. <laughs> On the job. I hope she was worth it. Girlfriend? Wife. I'm Sarah Hudson, the consultant in charge of your husband's care. Is there anything you want to ask me, Mrs. Feelin? Why are we waiting, Doctor? Waiting for what? I thought, an operation. If Craig needs surgery, it is safest to wait ten days. Why if? We're waiting to see if Craig recovers from the brain damage. His chances are good, aren't they? I'm afraid it is possible he won't get better. Oh. I'll speak to you later, Mrs. Fina. If he re-bleeds? Mrs Vernon, I'm afraid your latest set of test results aren't brilliant. But we're going to press on with the treatment. Keep our fingers crossed. So let's see if we can't have you back looking after that garden of yours, eh? Thank you, Doctor. Excuse me. I've increased Mrs Vernon's debutamine to ten. Let's keep doing hourly BPs, please. OK. Miss Darling's water's still very turbid. I wondered if he might benefit from a bladder washout. Mm. Hey, it's Dr. Colin. It's me. Alison. Hello. Yeah, sorry I didn't call you last night. I was, um, rushed off my feet. I was going to call you late. Look, I'll, I'll call you late, OK? Sorry. That was just to keep us better, wasn't it, Doctor? 
We'll do everything we can to make her comfortable, but uh, you see, I'm worried she's going to give up the ghost. Thank you, Doctor. I know you're doing everything that you can for her. Oh, come on, Mr Vernon. Let's go and get a cup of tea, eh? I'm sorry. You and Jesse have been together, what, how long? 40 years. 40 years. Just need someone to check the IVs. You know, it's still seeing him, though. Moxicillin, 500 milligrams. I thought you two would be walking off into the sunset. Nothing happened between us. Kefiroxine, 750 milligrams. I think I know better than to get involved with a married man. Don't you ever go home, slapper? I could ask you the same. Sorry. Can I have 50 of Bank and 16 of Gent IP, please? Parasomatis again, isn't it? Yeah. I'll have to come off the CAPD. We'll see. I'm not planning on killing anybody tonight for their kidneys. Would you really accept a second hand organ off this woman? You're looking after me again, right? Always get the wankers. Slap her. You know your trouble, Eric? Fags. Javon. Eric. My heart's knackered. My chest is knackered. Good smoke's the only fun I get. All right. One. But save it till you get home. I can get a diamond duck. Julie, can Eric have a nebulizer and then oxygen, please? OK. And then a delousing. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'll uh, see you in there. Look, I'm uh, really busy. Maybe I'll just see you around. <coughs> yeah, sure. Judy, how long do I have to wait for one of you to start that drip I ordered? You have an arrogant attitude towards nurses, Claire. Please don't take it with me. This is Gemma in Teresas. Please, please tell me the asthma attacks here, please. 2.5 of salbutamol, Neb with 100% oxygen, please. Okay. Does your daughter take a tablet called Theophylline? No. I'm in. All right, then, sit her up. OK. I'll start aminophylline. I reckon 15 to 20 kilograms. Uh, at 6 milligrams per kilogram, that works out to be 100 milligrams Come. over 20 minutes. She's got a silent chest. Come yeah, on. no, it's not looking good. Come on. Come on, keep breathing. There's a good girl. She'll be OK. Come on. Right, that's it now. Keep your chest upright and her airways open. Could you hold on? I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead. Tighten the mask, tighten the mask a bit. Right. That's it, that's okay, it. Okay, there's a good car. Come on, Gemma. Come on, keep breathing. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, Gemma, come on, come on. Stay away, right, girl. Roger. Come on, yeah. darling. Come on. Come it's on. on. Come on. That's, ah, it. that's it. There's a brave girl. Well done. Big come cough. on. Come on, big cough. Sit <laughs> right. That's it, there's... There we are. There's a brave girl. Well She'll done. be all right. He's your mum. There you are. Mr. The action, maybe. Your patient. Sorry to keep you waiting, Eric. Here's your oxygen. Think she's married? The little girl? Yeah. No. Julie Novak. You hardly know her. So? We're in trouble, eh, lads? I know what you mean. I'm going out with a bird from Marks and Spencer's. You won't let me try anything on. <laughs> you know the statue of the chick with no arms? The Venus de Milo? Yeah. Well, what if they found her arms and they were like Popeyes? Huge with tattoos of anchors. You don't want to get involved unless you know she isn't going to mess you about. I mean, look what Claire did to you. 